Hello students, let us start a new session on revision in the topic Algebra. First, we will look into the main concepts of this chapter. The main concepts are, the word variable means something that you can vary, that is, change. Value of a variable is not fixed. We use a variable to represent a number and denote it by the letters such as L, M, N, P, X, Y, Z, etc. A variable allows us to express relation in any practical situation and to express many common rules and properties of geometry, algebra, etc. An expression with a variable, constants and sign of equality that is equal to sign is called an equation. The value of the variable which satisfies the equation is called solution of a equation. We'll go in detail. There are many branches in mathematics. The study of numbers is called arithmetic. The study of shapes is called geometry. The study of use the letters and symbols in mathematics is called algebra. Algebra is part of mathematics in which the letters and symbols are used to represent numbers in equations. It helps us to study about unknown quantities. Have a look at these matchstick patterns. You may count the number of matchsticks used here. Here we have got four matchsticks. In this case, there are seven matchsticks. In this case, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 matchsticks. Let's look at the number of matchsticks in first square, it's 4, the second square, it is 7, and the third square, it's 10. So, the pattern that we observe here is 3n plus 1. If you consider n value to be 1, we get product 3 into 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, 4 matchsticks are present in a square, 1 square. Suppose if I substitute 2 here, we get 2, 3 times is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, when 2 squares are there, we have 7 matchsticks. With this pattern, we can easily find the number of matchsticks required in any number of squares. Can you guess how many matchsticks will be used in the 50th figure? We will just use 3n plus 1 formula. 3 times n instead of n, we will take the square 50 plus 1. This is 150 plus 1, 151 matchsticks are required. Let's look at idea of a variable. Variable refers to the unknown quantities that can change or vary and are represented using lowercase letters of the English alphabets. One such example we have seen in the previous pattern of matchsticks 3n plus 1. Here n is unknown and it can vary from time to time. So only we have found 50th square how many matchsticks are used. 
Let's look into an example. Neha wanted to buy story books from a bookstall. She wanted to buy three books for herself, two books for her brother, four for two of her friends. Each book cost rupees 15. How much money she should pay to the shopkeeper? Here, what are the given things? The cost of one book is given as rupees 15. We need to find the cost of nine books. Let me make a table over here. For one book, it is 15 rupees. For two notebooks, it is 30. For three, it is 45. For four, it is 60. Suppose if I consider A numbers, it will be 15 times of A. In the current situation, A, it's a variable, stands for 9. Therefore, the cost of 9 books will be 15 times 9, which is 135. So, Neha needs to pay rupees 135 to the shopkeeper for the books she purchased. Let us look into the use of variable in common rules that is in particular with geometry. Let's look into perimeter of a square. The perimeter of a square is sum of all the sides and we know there are four sides so 4 times side. If a side is represented using a letter S, becomes 4S. Thus, perimeter P is equal to 4S. Here, S is variable. So, the perimeter as perimeter changes as the value of the side changes. Look into this figure. It's a square. All the sides are represented using S. If S value is 4, perimeter will be 4 times 4, it becomes 16. If it is in centimeter, this will become in terms of centimeter. If the perimeter value is say 20, we can find each side. The side will become perimeter upon 4. Perimeter is 4 times side. Side will be perimeter by 4. We can get 5 centimeter as each side. So when we look at the perimeter and the side, perimeter varies with the side considered. Look into perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2 times length plus breadth. Here, if the length is represented using a small letter L and the breadth is represented using a small letter B, it will be 2 times L plus B or 2 when it's multiplied we get 2L plus 2B. So the perimeter is 2 times of length plus breadth or 2L plus 2B. Here L, B are the variable and the value of perimeter changes with the change in L and B. Look at this rectangle. If the length is say 10 centimeter and breadth is say 5 centimeter perimeter is 2 times of 10 plus 5 which is 30 centimeter if the length value is changed to say 15 centimeter and breadth value is changed to say 10 centimeter the perimeter now will be 2 times of 15 plus 10, which will become 50 centimeter. 
so the value of the perimeter varies with the variables length and the breadth we shall look into the use of variables in common rules in arithmetic we have learned commutative property in addition the sum 5 plus 4 is 9 if we reverse the direction of addition 4 added to 5 will also be 9 thus we can write 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 5 this is a commutative property of addition of numbers in which the result remains the same even if we interchange the numbers in general we can write it as a plus b equal to b plus a here a and b are different variables for example if i consider a value to be 16 and b value to be 20 according to commutative property 16 plus 20 is same as 20 plus 16 which is 36 same way we have commutativity of multiplication the product 2 into 8 is 16 8 multiplied to 2 is 16 thus 8 into 2 is same as 2 into 8 this is commutativity of multiplication in general it is a into b equal to b into a here a and b are different variables for example if i consider 18 multiplied to 12 it is 216 12 multiplied to 18 is also 216 thus 18 into 12 is same as 12 into 18 Let us now look into another property, distributivity of numbers. 6 times 32, it's a complex sum, but there is an easy way to solve it. It is known as distributivity of multiplication over addition of the numbers. This 32 can be written as 30 added to 2. So, 6 times 30 added to 2. 6 multiplied to 30 is 180. 6 multiplied to 2 is 12. The sum becomes 192. Thus, 6 times 32 is 192. This way, of splitting a particular number will makes the solving more easier thus a multiplied to b plus c can be written as a times b plus a times c here a b and c are different variables similar way we have one more property called as associativity of addition this property states that the result of the numbers added will remain same regardless of their grouping if you have three different numbers and addition is done in this way a added to b grouped together plus c will be equal to a added to b and c grouped together for example 4 plus 2 plus 7 is same as 4 added to 2 plus 7 we have learnt a rule in our lower classes 
BODMAS rule according to the rule brackets are to be simplified before here in the bracket we have got 4 plus 2 which is 6 in right hand side we have 2 plus 7 which is 9 6 added to 7 is 13 4 added to 9 is also 13 so a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c when i am reading this you should observe where i am giving pass a plus b i am giving a pass over there then plus c is equal to a plus i give a pass then p plus c let me read it again a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c this property is called as associativity of addition these are the few ways wherein we'll make use of the variables in making the statements let us look into expression what is an expression and what is an equation in the next session that's all for today's session thank you